like and subscribe and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. In today's video, we will look at 10 animals that came back from extinction against all odds. Number 10. The South Island Takahi The South Island Takahi is a large and beautiful species of flightless bird once found in New Zealand. Around 1841, it was the largest living member of the rail family and everything we knew of the bird was only from four individuals. But after the last encounter in 1898, the birds were nowhere to be found. So, experts consider them extinct, and there's a brief explanation for that. The first official encounter of a South Island Takahi happened in 1849. Back then, a group of dusky bay sealers traced the path of what appeared to be a large, beautiful, but mysterious bird. In the end, they killed, roasted, and ate the bird which they declared delicious. Because of that, the Takahis became an attraction for hunting until the last bird was captured for its meat in 1898. And that was how the era of the Takahis ended. Or so he believed. Fifty years later, a small group of Takahis were rediscovered miraculously near Lake Tianao. According to the researchers who discovered them, the birds were clinging desperately to life. But ever since, the Takahis are under very close watch. Number 9. The Platypus Frog The Platypus Frogs, aka the Gastric Brooding Frogs, were once found in Queensland, Australia. They were first discovered in 1972, but no one thought them special until a group of researchers discovered something unique about the way they reproduce. You see, unlike most frogs, the mother platypus frog lays her eggs and then swallows them in her stomach, which acts as a womb. Normally, the stomach contains dilute hydrochloric acid that can harm the eggs. But as soon as she swallows the eggs, the mother frog stops producing the stomach acid. And like that, she can make about 25 tadpoles grow inside her. After a while, she then vomits them. Because of this unique baby-making, scientists sought to study these animals more, but the frogs became a hard find. In fact, the last specimen ever seen was in 1971. So, everyone believed they were no more until 2013. That year, Mike Archer and his team of de-extinction experts used a process called the somatic cell nuclear transplantation to bring the frogs back to life. Today, a good number of platypus frogs now roam the Earth. Number 8. The Clarion Night Snake Like the name, the Clarion Night Snake is an 18-inch snake that works best at night. It has a characteristic color that makes most of the species beautiful. But since its discovery in 1938, these features make up about everything we know about the snake. This is because the only preserved specimen of the Clarion Night Snake dates back to 1936. Ever since, nobody saw another live specimen even though different experts launched a few expeditions to locate the snake. In 1938, a group of experts hoping to find the snake tried an alternative approach. According to them, the clarion snake is an elusive species that lives on one of the most remote islands in Mexico. To even access that island, you would need a military escort. So, the team simulated the exact conditions of the earlier successful find. To do that, they need to get the timing and season right so that they can increase their chances of finding the Clarion Night Snake. After a long search, the team identified 11 snakes that resembled the Clarion Snake. But to confirm their suspicions, they conducted a series of DNA tests. And in the end, it's confirmed. The Clarion Night Snake now walks amongst us. Number 7. The Pygmy Tarsier Meet the Pygmy Tarsier, currently known as the tiniest species of primates in Indonesia. And with a single glance at the creature, we don't see why this should surprise you. But before now, the wildlife preservation community presumed the Pygmy Tarsier to be extinct because no one had seen even its shadow for a very long time. All anyone knew about the creature was from the literature that either described the fossil or preserved specimen. According to the books, Pygmy Tarsiers often weigh 2 ounces. They are 75% smaller than other tarsiers, and often, their appendages are spindly and long. In fact, they can even spin their heads about like an owl. For 80 years, we relied on the books until Grisky Doyen, a researcher from Texas University, rediscovered them in 2008. According to him, he intended to confirm if the pygmy tarsiers were unequivocally extinct. But to everyone's surprise, he became the first man in almost 80 years to cite a pygmy tarsier alive. Many others came before him, but they failed. Although, even till now, we still don't know just how many Tarsiers are out there. 
Number 6. The Caledonian Cresties. Cresties or crested geckos or eyelash geckos were once found in the south province of New Caledonia, New Zealand, and Australia. But in the late 1800s, conservation experts declared them extinct because many expenditures popped up to find them. Sadly, none of them was successful at finding a single Caledonian crested gecko. However, in 1994 and about 200 years later, a team of voyagers stumbled across a group of small lizard-like animals near Caledonia. Add to that, the creatures have two long rows of spines running from their head to their tails. All these descriptions match those of Caledonia crestes. After extensive lab work, experts realized that the accident led to the rediscovery of the crested geckos. As the first step to conservation, scientists exported hundreds of geckos for study. In an examination, the scientists found out that the crestes have no eyelids. In place of that, they have long tongues and they use them to clean their eyes of debris. And this made them even more popular. So, many craved to own them as pets. However, the government banned all exports and trade of the crested geckos. Number 5. The Shikoan Peccary Besides the name Shikoan Peccary, these animals are also known as Taguas, and they are just one of three peccary species found in the Americas. Unlike the other two, experts reported that Shikoan Peccaries are found only in the Gran Chaco, a small dense forest in Argentina. According to Dan Brooks, a conservationist that studied the Shikoan peccaries for about 30 years, the Gran Chaco may be beautiful, but it's a very hot, dry, and inhospitable thorny forest. So the Shikoan peccaries lived under harsh conditions and this made life difficult. Yet locals hunted the Shikoan peccaries so much that the only known specimen came from a 1970 fossil. In the early 2000s, they vanished out of intensive hunting. And no one ever saw them ever since until 2014 when Dan Brooks and his team rediscovered them. Although according to some experts, the locals knew all along that a few Shikoan peccaries still live deep in the Chaco region. But even after the rediscovery, the Shikoan peccaries still face great danger from climate change and habitat destruction. Today, we still have about 3,000 Shikoan peccaries left. Tomorrow, we may have none. Number 4. The Gilbert's Potoroo at first glance, you may think that the Gilbert's Potoroo does not differ from any ordinary rat. Their size and some of their external features are to blame for this. However, there are only 100 Gilbert's Potoroos on the planet, so it's most likely that you have not even seen one in real life. In fact, the last time anyone ever saw one before 1994 was in 1869. Back then, John Gilbert and a group of other zoologists reported the existence of these creatures somewhere between Albany and the Palinup River. So, you get the reason they're called Gilbert Potoroos. However, locals considered the Potoroos as a dangerous pest that often destroyed their crops. They poisoned and killed any Potoroo they found. Before long, the Potoroos were out of the books, and scientists and locals thought that Gilbert's Potoroos are no longer with us. But somehow, an isolated group of Potoroos were rediscovered in 1994 after a group of scientists noticed one Potoroo caught in a fox trap. However, Gilbert's Potoroos are still considered the rarest marsupials on the planet. On top of the list today, we have an animal that's literally a reincarnation from the Ice Age. But can it be true? Let's find out. Number 3. The Smilodon the Smilodon, or the saber-toothed cat, as many people call it, was one of the greatest predators ever lived. It roamed and dined on Earth 60 million years after the dinosaurs died out, and lived until just about 10,000 years ago when the last one vanished. So, the scientific community declared them extinct. However, on September 12, 2012, a video about a random couple walking their large pet across the street in Los Angeles broke the internet. According to the story, the cat was enormous and it had long teeth that reminded everyone of the saber-toothed cat, aka the Smilodon. At first, we thought the video was fake, but funnily enough, the video wasn't bogus and every other news that came with the background story was mostly right. So, was this then a reincarnation of the Smilodon? Well, no. Instead, the big cat you see here is actually animatronic. In this video of the couple, the Smilodon was on its way to the La Brea Tar Pits Museum where it would become a star attraction in a program dedicated to the Ice Age. Number 2. The La Gomera Giant Lizard 
the Lagomera lizards are a species of giant lizards native to the Canary Islands. 23 years ago, the scientific community declared them extinct because the only known specimens of the lizard were fossils. From the fossils, experts knew the lizards can reach up to 1.9 meters and they had very long tails. With that size, there is no way anyone could just walk past them unnoticed. But within the space of 23 years, nobody saw even a single one. However, in July 1999, a group of experts from the University of La Laguna responded to a distress call from the locals. According to the locals, there was a large species of lizards in La Gomera scattered all over the place. On getting there, the lizards turned out to be the elusive giant lizards. In the event, they named the lizards La Gomera. Interestingly still, the experts also realized that the lizards were even the pioneer inhabitants of the island. Today, conservationists now have about 400 individuals bred in captivity and looking to introduce some in the wild. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 1. The Cola Cant On today's list, the Cola Cant is the oldest animal whose history of existence dates 65 million years ago. In the 1800s, everybody believed this creature was long gone. In fact, the scientific community at the time only knew of its existence from tossel records that are millions of years old. They believed there was no way such an animal could still be alive in this modern day. But one fateful day in 1938 proved them wrong. That day, December the 23rd, 1938, a local trawler captain named Hendrik Goosen caught a very strange fish at the Shalumna River. Out of curiosity, he called upon Marjorie Courtney Latimer, a self-taught naturalist at a museum in the South African town of East London. However, she was unable to identify the fish at first glance using her textbooks and journals. So, she preserved it and then called experts who later confirmed that the fish was actually the colacanth, a creature that scientists thought died out with the dinosaurs. The animal survived deep in South African waters. Anyways, the rediscovered colacanth got the name Latimeria in honor of the woman who preserved the specimen for science. With all that said and done, I'll see you next time.